Hi. I just built this envelope generator by AI Synthesis. It's called the AI003 Looping ADSR. And uh, I thought I knew how ADSR things worked uh, until I got this, and I had to figure it out myself. So the first part of this will be sort of learning and explaining how an envelope generator works. So if you already know, you don't have to watch that. You can just skip ahead to the performance thingy at the end. All right, here we go. Before I play any music, I need to connect my keyboard to the system with this MIDI interface. It splits out the signal from the MIDI DIN connector so that one uh, signal goes to the gate and one goes to the oscillator. One tells the oscillator that there's voltage present and the other tells the envelope generator when to send the voltage. So first I'll turn all of the settings down, attack, decay, sustain, release. You hear this sharp, plucky sound. And I'll turn up the uh, decay and sustain. Soften the attack. You hear it's much longer time between pressing the, the key and the sound coming out. Now there's another way to uh, trigger a gate is by pushing this little button here. It's called manual. Just wanted to demonstrate that. And after messing around with it for a little while, I found that it could do this. I don't know how I got it to do that, but it's fun. It's a fun little button. And for anyone who hasn't seen the AI synthesis video on this very subject, I thought I'd show it again. You can see how the gate goes in from the MIDI interface and out with that red cable into the VCA as control voltage and the green cable from the oscillator goes in the VCA and then out to the mixer. It's a pretty simple setup. Lastly, I wanted to show how the looping and retrig functions work. First set it up on the keyboard so that it sounds nice. That's nice. When I switch on the looping function, nothing happens until I take the cable out of the gate jack. And then it loops that very envelope with that relatively short attack, decay, sustain, and release. Then I'm going to take a little control voltage out of the little nerd and jack it to the retrig. That you can see how that LFO re-triggers the gate. Lastly, I plug the gate signal back in and I can control that through the keyboard. Nifty.